Hello and welcome to Old Lady Plays. I'm Kate, the old lady, and this is Earning My Spurs. Season 2, Episode 1 of this FM22 save. Set in Brazil in Fortaleza. Let's get into the game and have a look at what we're doing here. Uh, we are going to play a Copa Libertadores match today. Ooh, our very first one of this save. We're going to play Independiente Medellin from Colombia. Uh, we're playing at home. And I just thought it'd be fun to come back for this particular match. Uh, we only have one transfer confirmed so far into the team. That is the young goalkeeper Joao Fernando. Joao Fernando, who is um, a 21-year-old, I think, Brazilian goalkeeper. Let's just have a quick peek at him. Yes, he's a 21-year-old Brazilian goalkeeper. He's okay. He's not super great, but he's okay. Um, and he does the job as a backup. He's, done, he's been taking some games in the um, state championships for us, so I've been happy with that. Uh, the other players you may not recognize here would include uh, Juan Sebastián Quintero, who is a center back who was out on loan last year. Now we got him back, we can actually use him, it's good, good, good. Um, anybody else new here? No. How about on the bench? Alright, people you won't recognize. Luis Enrique, another player who was out on loan last year, is back. Uh, we don't have Luis Lima back, so um, we got this guy instead. So that's fine. He's been very effective in backing up Shaylon in the attacking midfield spot. Uh, who else have we got here? Oh right, Gustavo Coutinho and Igor Torres, both forwards. Coutinho, Brazilian. He looks decent enough. He's not going to score a bunch, but he's, he's decent enough. And uh, Igor Torres, again, decent enough. He's not going to score a bundle, but he's decent enough. So, I'm reasonably happy with that. Wellington Paulista is back. He's going to retire at the end of this season, but for this season we've got him still. Except we don't because he's out for Achilles tendonitis. So he'll be out for nine days to three weeks. He's getting old. Let's be fair. He's getting old. Anyway, so let's jump into this match. Um, and then we'll come back and look at how things have been going in the state championships and all of that stuff. Because I like jumping into the match. It's more fun, I think. Wait right here for a second. There we go. Uh, I just had to blow my nose. Uh, didn't want to do that on camera. Uh, it's Lucas Lima that uh, we're missing from last year. He's not back on loan. Um, so, not Luis Lima, Lucas Lima. But in any case, he's not back. He didn't come to us this year, so that's okay. Uh, this is a match we should be winning. Make sure we do. Didn't get much out of that, but a couple is fine. Give ourselves a chance. No surprises in the team news. We've got to start with intensity. And let's get on with the game. Alright, here we go. We're in the red and blue on the right. Playing from right to left. And, uh, hmm. They're in their whites playing left to right, of course. Oh, just one pass too many. Right back chasing Mosquero well out to the line. Felipe Alves has the header. Tinga now with a free kick. Finds Pikachu. Felipe. Quintero goes all the way back to the keeper. Ting gets a Pikachu. Felipe. Tinga. Oh, Pikachu is now in. Uh, they're working together, but no cleared way well. 
Quintero. Oh, this is in the first two minutes. What is going on? Long highlight here. Romarino. Bruno Melo. Everybody getting in on this game. David hits in there and it's gone for the first goal. Fourth goal of the season for David. First goal of the Copa Libertadores for us. We are happy with that. Cannot be too unhappy with the passing here. Bruno Melo to Ederson to Shalon with the great through pass for David. And that's a nice goal. That's a nice goal. We don't need to see it for the third time, though. We saw it. It was clear that he was onside. He made a good run. Let's not be silly about this. And Mindo can't find anybody over the top. Felipe Alves has it now. Thiago Pikachu back for Tinga. Pikachu keeps running, finds David, whose header just is hauled down by Bran. Nice try, but not quite. And now we get none for a while. Yago Pikachu finds David. Cuts inside. Uh, brings it all the way back. Romarino. Edison. Romelo. Come on, boys. Let's get somewhere forward here. Titi. Let's go with some progressive passing. Let's go forward passing. That's not forward passing. When I say forward passing, I mean pass towards the goalkeeper. The one at the other end. Not our goalkeeper. Their goalkeeper. Ederson holds off his man, gets the ball through to David. David to Shalon. Shalon's into the max. Can't get it through. The Ooh! Felipe's ball dropped for Tinga. And it's up and over and out for a corner. Shalon now. Uh, too long with the corner. Quintero can't find his man. Tinga recovers. We got something of a tough group. Um, we have, as you can see, Independiente uh, from Colombia. We also have what was the other one? Sporting Cristal from I want to say Peru. I think it's from Peru. And um, São Paulo is the third team playing in this group with us so it's a fairly tough group I'm, I'm you know I'm happy with how we've dominated I don't want to see even a hint of complacency in your performance and individual Tinga there's the motivator that I like to see Let's press them a little bit, guys. Just, just a little. Just a little bit, please. No, nope, we're just going to stand and watch them from a distance. Okay. Great. This is not how we practiced it, I'm pretty sure.
Stable wird die gehen. Oh oh. That's not good. He's gonna get sent off. That's not a helpful thing. Oh, he got a red card. Oh, even better. That's just great. And then we're going to take out Homerino and bring in Nuno. And Nuno will go back to play left. Center back. Shailon will move out to the wing. And we'll be happy with that. Yeah, we already did all this. Definitely made the game somewhat harder. Playing with only the ten men. Over the top. Half an hour to go in this undermanned situation. I'm going to go to balanced, I think, just because we want to give ourselves a little bit of an extra emphasis defensively. Oh dear. Yep, felt that coming. And it didn't take, what, three minutes, four minutes for them to get the goal? That's great. That's terrific. Well done, guys. <laughs> Good thing Felipe Alves was on his game there. Because the rest of the defense have just switched off. Wait, what's going on? Why is Romarino in the back? What is going on? I know that said Nuno when I went out of here. You dimwits. I hate when the game does that. Ugh. No wonder we gave that goal away so easily with Homarino playing in the midfield, in the center back on I mean, the position. Shailon, can you get something nice here? He does! Juan Sebastian Quintero gets himself a goal. How did he do that? Got there with the header in the near post. I'll take that every day. Especially with 10 men. There we go. Nice work. Nice work. Keep it up. Keep it up. You know. Romelo Ederson Shailon Bruno Melo Come on now Yago yeah, Pikachu is he gonna take on his man? Not quite. Felipe does. And he's away down the right. Crossed but hit for a corner. Ah, okay, three minutes to go and we could win this game even though we went down to ten men. I 
didn't tell you to waste time, Shalom. Oh, good play by Nuno. It's all the way back for that one. Good clearance. Medine trying desperately to get it forward now, but not lucky. Fortaleza steals. Ederson Cantero, and that's all she wrote. Two to one, Fortaleza over Independiente Medellin. I'm kind of happy with that, especially with Titi having gotten himself sent off. Cannot complain about that one. Uh, nice work, everyone. That was good. And TT, where are you, buddy? You individuals. I know you're on double green and happy, happy, but I'm really disappointed in you for getting sent off. Nice win. We're through there, and we got second in the group at the moment. That's a start. That's a start. Saying they took Fortaleza for granted. Good man. Happy that you did. Two assists for Shalom. Not your creative best. Well done, well done. Shalom, by the way, has turned into an amazing player when you consider that we bought him for 150k last year. Look at him this year. Five games, four goals, five assists, two player of the match, and an 8.74 rating. And we picked him up in the middle of last year for nothing. So, happy with the way that's worked out. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Competitions, how things have been going with the competitions. We have, uh, we are first with only Serap to play in the Campeonato Serense Serie A. Uh, I'm hopeful that we'll be able to win that and take the top spot. It doesn't really make a big difference because the top four teams play down in the playoff anyway, so it's no big deal. Uh, Serie A Brasileiro starts on the 24th of April, which is in 19, 18 days. Uh, and of course, this was the beginning of Libertadores, which is awfully nice. So, let's see how it, things have been looking here. As you can see, pretty solid. You kind of expect that though, I mean, when you're playing in the state championships. 11-0, 8-0, 7-0, these were not close games by any stretch of the imagination and the trickiest part about these ties is just trying to keep the, the the lads motivated keep them excited enough to want to keep playing well and you know like this 11 nothing match we were four nil up at the half I think uh, one two three four five and then we scored six goals in the second half and yes, they had a man sent off, but we only scored three of them after that. We scored three of them before it, too. So, pretty good. Um, overall, pretty happy with that. Have a quick peek at the squad and stats and competitions overall. There we go. Uh, Ederson, Bruno Melo, Wellington Paulista all have five goals. Leading assist getter is Shalon with eight in just seven matches. Gotta like that. He's also, what, third in XG? Fourth in XG. So, yeah. Overall, I'm very happy. Uh, do we have anybody else coming? I think... Transfers, do we have another one coming? 
Yes, Alejandro Cabrera. I forgot completely about him. Central midfielder coming from Argentina. Um, he's joining us in mid-season at, on August 1st. The little technicals are a little bit lower than I'd like in some places, but his mentals are amazing and his physicals are pretty darn good too. So we've given him a couple of years um, contract. Yeah, I think we gave him a two or possibly three year contract. Um, and I think he's going to be a real addition to the team. So we'll see how that goes. Um, yeah, that's how things have been going. And it looks like it's about that time that I should start wrapping things up. So I will say thank you very much for watching. I appreciate your time. I hope that you have a great day. And take care.